In this video, I'm going to explain how to add your lead capture form into templates that you make so that you can actually capture leads and generate leads from checklists that you publish and embed into your website. The first thing you're going to need to do is make the checklist public. If you haven't already done that, you need to come to the share, click on the share button on any template and it will come up and prompt you to actually make it public. Once you've done that, you'll be brought to this screen and this gives you the links to be able to share the template or to embed it into your site. From here, you wanna click on this manage lead capture button. That's gonna bring up this screen that allows you to paste the HTML code from any of your autoresponders or Salesforce uh, CRM kind of products in here and actually we'll submit that lead into that form every time somebody comes and signs up. So I'll give you a demo using MailChimp. From inside MailChimp, you're gonna to wanna to select your list and then you're gonna to wanna to find the web form. This is gonna be the same kind of process for any autoresponder email, um, email marketing service provider or for a CRM. You essentially wanna find the web form, the sign up form that they give you that you can put on your website and use that to actually collect leads. In MailChimp, you're gonna to come to sign up forms here and then I'm gonna to go to embedded forms. So it's very important, sometimes, sometimes the ESP will give you a JavaScript form or an HTML form, it's very important that you actually find the embedded HTML code form. And basically they'll give you a form like this. The only field that we can pass you, because we only collect, collect email and password, the only field that we can actually pass you is the user's email address. So what you're gonna to have to do is you're gonna to wanna to create a form that is just has the email address as the field. No name field, nothing like that, just the email address. So in MailChimp here, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click this only required fields button. And then I'm going to take the form code. I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna come over to process street and I'm gonna paste it in the, in this field here. And I'm gonna save it. If it gives you the form has saved correctly and it works, that's it. Now, every time somebody, every time somebody comes and uh, looks at my public checklist and checks the check item, so if they come and they view the checklist like this and they uh, pop up comes here and they put in their email and password to create an account, you will also get that lead sent to your MailChimp account. Same as if you embed the checklist into your own website and somebody comes and browses a, a checklist that you made on your own website and they come in and they click save or they come in and try to check an item and they actually fill it out and create an account, that lead will come straight into your MailChimp or Salesforce or whatever um, ESP or lead capture tool you're using with the web form that you put into the template. And that's pretty much it. It's really simple. It works with all template providers, all email service providers, all CRMs. All you've got to do is go in and find the HTML code for that very particular um, CRM. If you can't find it, probably contact support. They'll be able to get it for you. But generally, it's very easy, just like I showed you in MailChimp, to come in and get the HTML form, copy it, and paste it. And that's it. Leads will start coming in to your email list. And that's how you use lead capture with Process Street.